welcome learners of BA Honours Part 3, Paper 6 students. The topic today is the heart of the matter. Book 3, Part 1 has been continued from the previous session. Major Scobie comes upon the bank manager, Robinson, the reading man, and is amused at his newfound novel cheerfulness and note of optimism. Robinson has been given two years to live and this has resulted in this confidence, the newfound confidence. Quote, human beings never cease to surprise. So it was the death sentence that had cured Robinson of his imaginary ailments, his medical books, his daily work, sorry, walk from wall to wall. I suppose, Kobe thought, that is what comes of knowing the worst. One is left alone with the worst and it's like peace, unquote. Again, quote, Robinson was exhibiting the most enviable possession a man can own, a happy death, unquote. Major Scobie looks up the medical encyclopedia. That is the reason why he had come here. For angina, a heart condition he heard from Dr. Sykes and wonders why he's not being punished. Why are things going well for him? Isn't he damned? At the station, a good news awaits Scobie. He is offered commissioner's post. After a long, long wait, this post has been offered to him. Now, surely, uh, Louise will have a reason to rejoice. Scobie marvels at this turn of events. Outside the station, Ali is seen talking to his younger brother who works for Yusuf and growing suspicious, asks whether he has been offered money in exchange of information. Now that Scobie is a liar, he has become a seasoned liar. He is unreasonably skeptical about everyone around him being liars as well. In fact, he admits himself, quote, there were so many lies nowadays that he could not keep track of the small, the unimportant ones. Unquote. He writes a note to Louise informing her that he is taking some furniture up for Helen. At Nissan Huts, Scobie and Helen argue about their ill-fated relationship, which is got to it has it has a doomed prospect. Helen blames it all on Scobie's religious orientations. He admits that he has damned himself for eternity. Helen accuses him for being melodramatic and that she hates his Catholicism. He admits furiously holding her wrist, I quote, I am a policeman. I know what I am saying. What I have done is far worse than murder. That's an act, a blow, a stab, a shot. It's over and done. But I am carrying my corruption around with me. It's the coating of my stomach. I can never avoid it." Unquote. As Kobe is about to leave, he finds Ali with a message from Louise that she is back home. He becomes edgy because Ali has seen him with Helen. Back at home, Scobie writes his diary, the only place for truth in his life. He feels distressed and lonely for he cannot share his thoughts with anyone. There is no self-pity left in him anymore. He hears the voice of Yusuf's boy with a packet containing diamond, probably a token of gratitude for his delivering Yusuf's packet safely to the captain of Esperanka. One evening, he plans to visit Yusuf. On way, he meets Wilson, who confesses his love for Louise. Scooby says that he knows that Louise likes him. Wilson, in a fit of disgust and frustration, threatens to ruin Scobie. Later, Scobie talks to the Syrian, that is Yusuf, like a friend and confesses adultery to him. 
Soon after, Scobie hears a tortured yell from outside and is anguished to find the dead body of Ali. Scobie knows in his heart of hearts that he is responsible for Ali's death. He had suspected all along that Yusuf may kill him. When a corporal asked Scobie what happened, he answered that he loved the murdered boy, that is Ali. The internal conflicts within Scobie has already begun to be continued in next session. Thank you.